Good morning, and today we're going to look at the Vision King 30 to 90 times zoom, 100 millimeter objective lens spotting scope that I bought on eBay. Uh, I paid $400 Canadian. Um, I didn't know anything about this. I couldn't find very much on the internet. I uh, watched one video uh, several times from a gentleman from India. Um, and even though I wasn't able to understand the language, I pretty well was able to understand most of what he was trying to tell me. Uh, and he seemed pretty enthusiastic, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Here it is. Alright, here's the box. It does have one little uh, sign of violence. I guess that was the uh, tripod poking through. But uh, I don't think that will be a problem. Alright, here's the tripod. Seems fairly solid. Here's the scope. Comes in this case with this little booklet. Uh, Vision King spotting scope. Shows the parts of Model 1 and Model 2. Apparently I have Model 2. So that's pretty exciting. Bit of maintenance, bit of caution and contact details, but no specs, <clears throat> nothing like that, but I will add all those in the comments. All right, so open the case. Inside the case is the uh, glass cleaning cloth, all right. Inside another plastic bag. All the plastic bags claim to be super recyclable, so make sure you recycle those. I tend to keep my packaging for a while in case something happens. Okay, so it's got this protective blanket, uh, more bubble wrap, as you can see. I opened that before. <clears throat> I didn't want to seem like a complete amateur. Voila, for the bubble wrap. And then silk paper. And there we have the Vision King 30x90 100mm objective lens scope. It's quite large, it's fairly heavy. It's got a nice finish. It seems to be plastic. The, the uh, mounting thing is metal. The knobs are metal. Looks pretty good though. I like it. All right, so look at this. 100 millimeter. They say it's got the multi-coated optics, so the glass should all be multi-coated for uh, amazing viewing. A little bit of a sunshade. It's got the dual focus. This is the latest model there. You can get them with just the single focus and you can see there's the, I guess, big focus and then fine focus. And you'll see if you spin the big wheel, the small wheel spins anyway if you spin the small wheel, but very nice. You can get nice sharp, I'm assuming, uh, images. All right, on the back here we've got, here's the focus. So 30, 
it's smooth to 60, smooth all the way to 90, so it's not notched. You can set it anywhere. 30, 31, I suppose. 32, 30, you get it. 60 is marked. 90 is marked. Anywhere else in between. You'll have to get out your calculators. Here's the uh, eye cup. So it uh, is a twist up. Twist it this way and it comes up quite substantially. Feels smooth right at the end there. It's a little less smooth, but it's... Looks great. All right. <clears throat> Here we've got the mounting thing with this knob. You loosen this knob and it lets the mounting thing rotate to the side. I guess if you want to look at it this way while it's mounted. At the moment I do not. So I'll put it back, tighten that up. We'll try it on the tripod and see how solid this looks, this feels. Because it does definitely feels like a substantial piece of gear so far. I'm impressed. So you gotta rotate that down, then put this on. Tighten all the controls here. So, not too bad. Tripod seems solid enough. Evidently, there's a little bit of wiggle, but there you go. Okay, so. That's the initial unboxing. Now we will take it outside. Uh, well, we'll see how cold it is outside. We'll uh, test it, looking through it, and try to get some photos through it and show you 30, 60, 90. All right. So far, so good. Welcome back. Now we are going to look through the scope into the outside world, uh, but we are going to do that from inside because it is cold and lots of snow outside, seeing as it's February here in Quebec, Canada. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to look down into the forest over there. I'm just going to bring the camera around so we can show you, well I can show you what we're going to try and use as a reference. All right, so here we go. So we're going to look at this tree. When, uh, when we see it a little closer you'll see it's actually two trees that have gone like this. So that's how far it looks to the regular eye, right there, this one, do, 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 do. Do, do, do that tree there. All right, so back over here so we can see this thing, this is what we're all interested in, this is Vision, Vision King. So I've got it set up on the tripod and I've got it set up on a solid amplifier. I had it on a table earlier, but the table was too wiggly, so that made it seem Terrible. Anyway, so, basically the tripod works fine. It's not very tall. It's, uh, all the controls seem fine. This scope is fairly heavy, uh, but it's awesome. I'm quite impressed. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so here we got it. It's at 30. There's the tree. All right. So 
I've got the zoom on 30 or on 30 now. It looks pretty pretty nice. Focus with the main focusing, some fine focus if you wish. Also there is on a day that's not like I mean today's not so sunny but it's got a sun shade. Slides out pretty smooth. Alright. So there. That looks pretty good. Yeah. These are the uh, Bushnell Spectator 4x30. I find these things amazing because they're super wide angle. It's like 36 degrees field. Super clear. And these at 30 seem as clear. Very nice. I'm actually not unhappy with that at all. Very nice. Okay, so these, like the controls here, very smooth. Really enjoy that. Alright, so now we're at 30. And then roll up to, this is 60. All right, a little bit of adjustment on the focus, not even too much. Very nice. Of course, it gets a little bit darker, which is normal. Okay, and the pupil hole gets a little bit smaller. All right, take it up to 90. Again, this moves smooth, feels solid. It feels like a pretty quality piece of equipment, I will have to say that. All right, there at 90, wow. Yep, very nice. A little bit darker. The pupil hole is a little bit smaller. Moving the eye cup back up and down. When the eye cup is all the way up like this, the pupil hole is very small. And then I roll it down like this. And at the very bottom, it becomes a little bit hard. It, like You get all the edges in there. So I just pull it back up a little bit. And I like it just where you can start to see the edges of the pupil hole. That, that's where I leave the eye cup. And as you go higher zooming, you just go a little bit, you lower the eye cup a little bit to get that. So this is like at 90. Focused at that tree. Back to 60. There's no notches, right? So it's just smooth all the way from 90 to 60, which is why. So 90, and then I'm just looking at 60. And I'm only using the ones that are marked, of course. If you go a little bit less than 90, it's like 80, 70, yada, yada, yada. All right. So then, move the eye cup a little. Don't even need to adjust the focus there. Now from 60 to 30. Move the eye cup a little. Very nice. Focus that a little bit. Alright, so how much can I see? Well, I will take pictures of that, try to get that into the video, to give you an idea, but I will say that I'm impressed. Right there, it's like this is at 30, Just quickly pull that back to 90, do the eye cup thing. Focus a little bit, and I can see, you know, if it's like I couldn't see ants climbing on that tree, but I could see a butterfly, if there was a butterfly on that tree, I could definitely see birds for sure. I bet I might even, you know, a large bug, I bet I would be able to see because I can see all the nice little individual cracks on the tree bark. I can see the moss. 
individual strands of the moss. So it's pretty spectacular. So, I'm impressed, of course, with the zoom, like any zoom. The higher the zoom, slightly darker. But, no issues. No issues. It's, it's a substantial piece of gear. I like it. I like it so far. So, uh, I will probably add a little more footage, uh, like in the spring when I go to the lake. And we can see a few kilometers, see how much we can pull in. But for right now, uh, I'm impressed. I'll try to take some photos through it at 30, 60, 90 to show you what that's like. Uh, but overall, I'm impressed. Thank you, Vision King.